this tutorial, we are going to be building a real estate brokerage website using Elementor, WordPress using Elementor. So we are going to be using the theme called Astra Theme. And on the dashboard here, you can hover over appearance, come to themes. And then from here, you can choose the theme. So this is it. I already have it installed. If not, you can come here and say add new. And then you can come. Uh, just when you come to add new, you see it here. So you will see it among these. It's called Astra. I'm going to go ahead and activate Astra. So you see it activated here. Then you see this prompt. It says, thank you for installing Astra. Astra. Um, it prompts you to install this um, plugin called Starter Templates. It's very necessary. We're going to be using it. So go ahead and activate it. So it's activating right now. Okay, I'll go ahead and close this one. So we have this installed right now. So um, it's prompting us this. So we can just go back to the back end of the website. Now it gives us all of this. It prompts us this, asking us a number of couple of questions. So what we want to do is that we want to come now under appearance. Um, we want to come under appearance. Or rather on the plugins come to install plugins and then you see starter templates and it says see library go there <coughs> now let's take note that we are using elementor so it's assumed that you have elementor installed elementor i have the pro version so you can go ahead and install elementor in case you don't have elementor installed yet you can go to add new and then you search for Elementor and hit enter. And then it's going to prompt you this Elementor website, uh, website builder. And then you can just cl uh, cl uh, click on install now, then go to activate. So I already have that installed. I'm going back now to install plugins. And then come to starter templates. Here it is. And it says C library. It's loading. And then it prompts us getting started with starter templates. I'm just going to say build your website right now. And then I select Elementor Pitch Builder as the builder I want to use. So you can see how it brings you a number of already built um, templates. You can use them for anything to customize anything. Uh, when you see premium, it means you have to buy. So um, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to scroll down. I'm looking for one for a real estate brokerage. Yes, this is a real estate consultant. So I'm going to click on this. Is loading okay so this is the template that is going to install it has a couple of pages in case you have a logo you can just uh, bring it here and then you can adjust the width here but I don't have a logo yet that's up to you I'm going to say skip and continue it's loading and it promised me to change colors or text or something what the the uh, font which is being used here now is Montserrat I'm okay with that so I'm going to click on continue and it gives me all these. It prompts me um, to give all of this. Um, I can choose what I want to give them, the information I want to give them. Share non-sensitive data, of course not. I'll say submit and continue. And then now it's installing the template. You can see it's loading there. Okay, it's loading. Now it prompts me, it gives me this congratulatory message telling me that the template has already been installed. So view website from here. Let me come back here and go back to the dashboard. You can see it has imported all of this. It has imported the entire website. You can see the website here and it has this home and then it has services. And then he has about me, the about me page. This is for a client. And then it has reviews from people who have used his services. And then he has contact. It's loading. But you can see something here which is maybe problematic going on is that you see um, page ID that's 
we're on the contact page, but what we see is the page ID, uh, that's question mark page ID on the uh, forward slash ID equals 15. It means we need to change the permalink structure. So how do we do that? We come back to the dashboard here. Let's see, we come back to the dashboard. And then we come to settings and we see here permalinks. It may be problematic when we want to install other plugins and use them. So we come now, it is on plain. We want to choose post name, post name. And then we click on save changes. And now look at something. When we come now to click on contact us, you will see that it now directs you to the contact us. This is good for SEO so that when uh, Google is scrolling your website, they know exactly where to take each person to, depending on their search. So you see, it's a full website built in less than how many minutes? So now you want to change this information. These are not your pictures. You want to change this to your own pictures. How do you go about it? You click here on edit with Elementor. Once you're logged into the back end of your website, you see this edit with Elementor button on the home page. So you click on edit with Elementor. You can see it's loading. Now, you see this here. So you can go ahead and change all of this to your own uh, information. You can, how can I help all of this? You see, this is called Lorem Ipsum. It's a uh, dummy text, which does not have any meaning. Google cannot crawl it. It's just dummy sample text, which means nothing at all. So you may be saying, but how do I get my own content now? Take, for example, this is a real estate consultant. So you can come to Google and you see real estate consultant near me. Okay. You click on that. It's loading. No, I'm going to say no. So you see this? Um, real estate business agents. This is my city, it's called Boya. But I'm going to I'm going to say real estate consultants in New York. So we want to see what it's going to give us. The internet is a bit slow. Okay, you can see it has given us these results here. So we want to choose um, New York Real Estate Consultancy. We want to choose this. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with, with this. Now we'll click on this. It's loading. No, I don't know why Camtasia keeps opening. Okay, so you see, this is the website. Um, it's nycasas.com. We want to use their content to put on our own, on our own website. But for us to avoid uh, copyright infringement and all that, we are going to just copy the text. Copy. And then you come to a website called quillbot.com. It's a paraphrasing tool. Then you come and paste it here. And then you see paraphrase. You see... It has paraphrased the website, but it still has their own text. So when you copy this now, when you copy this right now, you can copy this, and then you come probably to your own website, to the home page, where you want to write whatever it is you want to write. You can come here. Let's say you want to put the text here. You paste this text. You see that they have Philip, uh, when Philip Hodge combined, you can change it to your own name. Maybe you are your name is... Uh, Maybe Brent Wood or maybe uh, Tiger Wood. Yes, you can change that to that. You can see. Yes, then you can change all the text to match your own website. So basically, that is how you go about building a website. Then all of this, you can change it. So you want to change the pictures too because these pictures are not yours. This is this uh, person here. Yeah? These are his pictures. So we want to come now. Let's say you want to see, you want to change these pictures to your own. Let's say you want to use dummy pictures. You can come to a website called Pexels, pexels.com. It's a free stock uh, uh, photo and uh, video website. And then you can see, um, just a man in office. It's 
searching. So you can use any of these. All of these are free photos. But you can also filter them by dimension, by orientation, sorry. These are horizontal. You want to look for a vertical picture. So yes, you can see this one. It really resembles what you were looking there. If you are an African-American or a black person, you can use this. Okay. Or you can see two men, men in office. You want to look for something similar to that. Now, you can see, you can even use this one, this man and the woman. Yes, or you can use these two men in the office, these two. They can, this could be the, the consultants. So you come, you click on it, <clears throat> and you say free download. And then you go, you say you want to download medium, 19 by 9, uh, 1280 by 1920, so that it doesn't bloat your website. So you can come now, it's downloaded in my, um, my computer. You can come here now, and then you click on this, and then you want to select that picture, which you downloaded. That is it. Yes, yeah, so that is what we insert now in the place of this. You see, the picture has changed. So you can use this, or you can use any other one you see here. That is how you get content for your website. So you can change all of this, with, you know, to match whatever you want. So in a nutshell, that is it. When you want to click, uh, you want to uh, change this information on the footer, you can click here and say, yes, edit post. It's changing. So if you have your own logo, this is where you do it. This is where you put it. You put, put your own logo here. You can get a free logo from a website called Logo Maker. That's K -R -A -E -R com. K R. You can see there. Logomaker.com. So you see, start my design. This website gives you a number of graphics you can use. A number of graphics you can use. Create new design. It gives you a number of graphics you can use. Let's, uh, you can use any of these for your own website. Let's just say lawyer or let's say house, since it's a real estate consultancy. So you see, you can use any of these um, um, graphics here, and you can customize them to fit your own design. Let's say we want to use this one, since it's a real estate consultancy, or which other one? Yes, let's use this one. Since it's a real estate consultancy, we click on that, and then we shift it here, and then you click on text, and you just say maybe Tiger Woods um, Consultancy. So that is that. Now you can click on this and then you want to change. Um, let's see, real estate consultancy. Actually, I'm going to cut this and put it in. I'm going to put two text, two text boxes. Okay. I want to put another one. I'll just say Tiger Woods. Then I see real estate. Okay. So you see this here. Um, I can change the font now. Let me select all of this. And then you come here. Let me say I want it to be um simple and modern then i can change the uh, i can choose the actual font i want yes so you see i can change this now maybe i want all of this to be white text i come here now i drag this make it white i can also change this to white but for now let me just maintain it to any color so that i can see what i'm editing so i can choose this to to white so um, I will select all of this. I don't know why it's not selecting well today. And then I will just drag this. And then you see, I increase this so that they are the same size. You see that? Beautiful. I'm going to change this now to white so that it matches that section of my website. So I'm going to change this to white, change this to to white. 
and then you see here this is where you download it and it says come to download low resolution accept and then download free resolution it's downloaded to my website to my computer sorry so when i come here now what i can simply do is to click here and then come to upload i choose the image which i want this is it <coughs> it's inserted right now you can see tiger woods real estate so may, in case you wanted to change the background of this let it be black instead click on these three dots it gives you the ability to change the entire section so you come here and you see um you want to change this to black you see it's changing to black but this, it has only changes in that section so you see there are two this is a section in a section that's an inner section so we want to change the entire section over over this or you just simply come here and right click and click on edit section and then you can change this to well, let me just say here um edit section okay background color okay it doesn't change yet let me see yes okay change here you can change it from here you can change all of this you can make it black and then you can change this inner section too you make it black you can change this section too the background and you make it black you can change this other section there are many sections here you can change you get the point you can change all of them and make them black we're not we're not going to do all of that so you can come here to uh maybe you want to come that's the footer we're editing you want to come back to editing the home page come to edit page yes you save the changes you've made on the footer and then it's loading the page is loading so we see in case we wanted to change this uh, color here the color of this one you can come here you see it's you click on this and then you come to style you see it has a pre-defined background where you can change this okay that's not what we changed there that's not what we changed there let's come to this you can change this the color yes this is where you change it you can change it to black it's the inner section this is a column that was changed we click this to come to style and we can change this to to black you see everything is changing and then we can change the text now you click on this blue dot and it will bring you to this edit header then you click on style and then you click on text color you change this to white you can click here too click here and then you come to style and then you change it to to white so that is how you go about it that is how you, that is basically how you go about it then here uh, this one we change to red one to change it to transparent you click on this this is the entire section this is the entire section when you click on this and then you come here and then you can just make it transparent you see it has maintained the blue on this man's suit so you can don't forget to update your work and then all these other elements you can see it's a timer a countdown you click on this no let me bring it back here let me bring it back here <clears throat> you click on it and then you can change it maybe to 350 you see it's now 350 it ends at 350 you can change every element here every element here and then welcome my name is i'm john you maybe want to change it say i'm um, tiger yes real estate consultant so um you can change this click on any element when you're on edit mode and then you click it down here from the john daniels uh, the john daniels this is his name you can change this from john daniels to tiger woods whatever you desire so that is basically it that's how to build a real estate consultancy website in less than no time so please help me smash the like button uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this peace